we, we, we tend to talk, talk about enmity from our definition. Sure. And so if you think about enmity between me and Jay, that means there's some type of hurt feelings or yeah. anger there, yeah. right? Yeah. Frustration. Okay, now when it talks about enmity between God and man, God isn't like in the image of man. Man is in the image of God, right? So we're not going to take enmity the way we would look at it between me and Jay right. and now just place that onto God, right? right. right? And if right. we do that, we're going to misunderstand some of the enmity, what enmity right. is. So enmity would just mean that God was of a certain mind. He had a certain wisdom. Right. He was of the spirit of grace. He was of the spirit of eternal life. He was of faith. And what man did was they partook of the spirit of works. Mm -hmm. They partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They partook of the wisdom of the serpent. They partook of iniquity. So they weren't of the same mind as God. They weren't of the same heart as God, right? So we were of deferring persuasions, mm -hmm. if you want to say it that way. That was the enmity, right? right, right? right, right. Now listen, that caused us great frustration with God. Right? Because we were all the time knowing that guy contrary to who he was. And we were all the time knowing ourselves contrary to how he was knowing us. Yes. Right? So, I mean, we could say we felt frustration towards God. And you could say a person who really went down that path hated God and wanted to war against God. Because ultimately, if you keep walking down that path and go to the dark side, you become like Anakin. Right? In the Star Wars movies, you guys are like, who's Anakin? <laughs> <laughs> Darth, Darth Vader, man. Yeah, right. Okay? Eventually, if you keep walking with the serpent in his darkness, in his way of thinking, you're going to try to war against God in all that is pure and perfect and lovely, like Nimrod. Right? Yeah, right. Nimrod, I mean, he, I mean, he became the anointed cherub that fell. I mean, he became the mind. Of Lucifer and it says he was a mighty hunter before God what that basically means is he shook his fist at God and said forget you mm. you're the one who sent the flood you're the one who killed everyone we're gonna now climb up into heaven and overthrow you mm. and then he gets busy building the tower tower which is confusion mm -hmm. he was confused he didn't see that the flood was the wages of man's sin Right? Yeah. He saw the flood as the wages of God being a bad God. Mm -hmm. And so he basically gathered the people together and talked about God as if God was the devil. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, he hated God. Right? So we could say it that way, but we could never say that from God's side. No. Right? That's why he sends Noah, a preacher of righteousness. Was Noah preaching about our righteousness? Was he telling those people you need to act right? Otherwise, God's going to kill you? No. He was preaching the righteousness of God to save them from the chaos and darkness and death that they found themselves in. Listen, man. God is going to come to save us from our suffering. Right? He doesn't want you to die. We're all busy with something that's killing us. He wants to preserve your life eternally in Him, in His grace. That's what Noah was preaching. Those guys didn't want it. See, that's God. Right? That's God. But that's not what Nimrod <laughs> believed about God. And so he took it to the umpteenth degree. If that, does that make sense? About yeah, it? We were darkened in our mind. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, one of the basic ways of saying that, people say, we didn't believe what God believed about us. That's one way of saying it. But I think the deepest root of that truth is, is that we took on a spirit or persuasion that wasn't of God. And so we had a different mind than God. We had the carnal mind, and if we want to say it this way, he had the mind of Christ. Christ is his mind, right? And we had the carnal mind. And so that put us at enmity in the way that we thought. So enmity would look like God says, listen, you can't be justified and exalted and have life by your own ability to bring forth good fruit. You can only have it by me giving it to you as a gift. The enmity would be, we said, we can be justified and exalted by our ability to bring forth good fruit. See how that's enmity? But see how that doesn't have anything to do with God warring against us? Right? Do, do, you, do you see that would be enmity? And there's, people still have enmity with God. Sure. If, if you think, uh, I mean, he brought in the book, Jesus is a Tithe. If you think you're going to be justified in the area of finances by your ability to give uh, money, then you're at enmity with God. Doesn't mean God's warring against you, but you're not of the same mind God is of. Right? And now what God's going to do. 
is he's going to war against that persuasion that's warring against you. Right? You have a persuasion that's warring against you. God's not warring against you. He sees this thing you think about how you're going to be justified in the area of finances by your ability to give money. He sees that wisdom is warring against you. And now he's going to come and war against that. Right? 